time. I don't wanna be a player. I just want you to wine slow on me like a Jamaican. Hey guys, it's Grace. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, of course, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'll be doing my ethnic blah 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 blah. I will be doing the ethnicity tag. I don't know why I stuttered, but just before I start off with my video, I would like to say and send my condolences to my American subscribers who are going through the most right now with the violence with the police officers and the African American community yes all life matter but right now in the United States black life matters I am not American I am a Canadian I do go to school in America and my family is worried that what if my daughter our daughter go back goes back to school is she safe I'm worried about my safety I'm worried about my family members who are in America's safety because Lately, the, the American police officers, or whatever you guys want to call it, I don't know if it's just the police or the KKK coming back from the... They were never gone. They're just really just showing their true colors, just murdering our colored men, especially African-American, which men and women, which is just not fair. It's like, it's 2016 and racism still exists? Like, does that make any sense? How is it 2016 and racism still exists? But I just want to send my condolences to the family of the fallen. I am truly, truly sorry. I pray each and every day that this Americans, American police officer, the judiciary system, the law, gets their senses back and understand they are taking innocent people's life. People are losing their uncle, their dad, their brother, their father. Like, it is not fair. It is not fair. And then there are people, ignorant people, on social media who want to say so what happened to black on black crime why don't we stop killing each other the shut up if you're one of the shut up shut up shut up yes black on black crime do remember if a black person kills another black person do they not go to jail do they not serve t time yes they do but when a white police officer kills a black person it is totally okay or when a white person decides to go to a church and shoots people oh they're considered insane but when it comes to black people the law automatically just flips around that is just completely bullshit but you know what I'm not American I can't really say mo much about this topic because the more I start to like talk about the topic I get very irritated disgusted and annoyed but once again I'd like to send my condolences to the family of the fallen the America has gone through a lot this week and I do pray that everything does get better. Violence is not the answer. Black life matters. All life matters for the matter of fact. But right now in the United States, black life matters. Let's stand, protest, and just do the right things to make everything go. Violence is not the way to solve the issue. But I do pray each and every day, like I said, that everything gets better in that country, especially in the world, that the Lord just shines his divine light on us and we just get our sanity back. All right? Because right now, everybody's just, to me, is just insane. But all right, so let me get started with my video. Like I said in my intro for this video, I'll be doing the ethnicity tag. I don't know why people always cons like gives me different background, but I'm going to go with ethnicity that I'm used to, that I grew up living with, that I'm aware of, that I'm just, this is just my, my culture, all right? So first question in the tag asks you, what is your ethnicity? My ethnicity is Yoruba, which is a native in Nigeria. I am Nigerian and my native language of course which is my ethnicity is yoruba what is your name and the meaning my name is oreo fe like ore ofe but people usually call me oreo oreo fe oreo fa ore ofe okay and it means grace simple as that all right that's what it means oreo fe means grace and that's what it means in english i guess you can say but yeah excuse me question number three when was the last time you visited your country? The last time I visited Nigeria was in 2006 and that's when I came to Canada. I haven't gone back ever since I had my parents, my mom and my sisters have gone but I just haven't got a chance to go. I am planning to go back soon, very soon. I don't know, I kind of just, I like it here. I want to go back. Actually, I was supposed to go back this week to try for the Olympic trials, but that's a whole different case now. But yeah, I will go back soon. Fourth question. Um, food you enjoy the most. The two meals that I enjoy, well, one's a food and one's a snack item that I really like the most, that is Nigerian, or if my ethnicity would be jollof rice. Jollof rice is pretty much seasoned rice, and you pretty much cook the rice, you season it with tomato, tomato sauce, tomato paste, whatever kind of tomato you want to use, grown, 
fertilized, I don't know, tomato, thyme, seas different seasoning, thyme, um, pepper, Maggie, salt, oil, yeah, you just make it and it's good and you have it with nice little drumstick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just insert a picture right there so you guys see what it look like, but that shit tastes bomb. And the next thing that I, it's a Nigerian meal, like a Yoruba, Nigerian Yoruba, same thing. We all eat the same thing that I really like as a snack item is meat pie. It's just like Jamaican patties, but it's not Jamaican patties. If that makes sense. I'll insert another picture of that right there. It's called meat pie. It's pretty much made with flour, oil, um, egg yolk or egg white, ground beef, and like either onion and like a little some seasoning. It is really good. It's amazing. When you go to African party, you will always get meat pie. Like you will always get meat. There is always meat pie, but the meat pie is bomb. Question number five. One thing items that best represent your culture there's a lot of things that represent my culture but right now something that i can actually like quickly grab and show you guys that represent my culture the most would be the african waist bead yoruba we call it baby ray d yes i want more ninjata and we'll video i'm a saw baby ray d so this is my african waist bead um you pretty much just wear it on your waist i'm trying to find if i have a close close to one is a white one you pretty much just wear it on your waist it's like a it's, it's not a body chain it's it is like it is a body accessory and you just wear it on your body but this is what it looks like it's cute it's nice I usually have mine on but lately I just took it off ever since I came back from school I never bothered to put it back on but yeah this is it can you speak the language of your ethnicity and that is the last question yes I can speak the language of my ethnicity when I am at home I do speak Yoruba very fluently so I'm going to say a sentence and I'm gonna interpret it in English I said good afternoon, good morning. Thank you so much for stopping back, stopping by to my channel to check out this video. I hope you just like like this video because you're watching this video. And yeah, that is it for this ethnicity tag. I hope you guys do like this video. If you like the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. I want to know what everybody's ethnicity is. Comment below. I want to know where you guys are where you guys are from your background your culture just let me know and just in case you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe just hit the subscribe button okay subscribe to my channel and just in, and just in case you did miss my last video or any of my video feel free to click the link in the description box to check that out or click the link to my channel and check out all my amazing video thank you guys so much for tuning into my video I will see you in my next video and remember Black lives matter, all life matters, but most importantly, right now, black lives matter. See you guys later. Bye.